is up my dudes Jesse Mails here backwater fly fishing today is super cool because we're gonna talk about a fly that I've been asked to do probably two dozen times over the course of the last few months and I haven't done it because mainly the flies kind of speaks for itself but we're gonna dive into it today talk a little bit about why it's tied the way it's tied and I'm gonna not believe it or not do a variation to this I'm gonna try and stick as close to the original pattern as I can um, because it functions in a particular way and it needs to be tied that way so we're not going to be screwing with it we're just going to be talking about it giving it a tie and if you haven't seen this pattern this is great for permit if you tie it small it's great for big bones if you tie it in different colors it's great for redfish it's a crab fly and it's called the strong arm merkin let's give it a go Also, my dudes, while you're watching this, if you haven't gone over and subscribed to the Backwater Fly Fishing Patreon page, there's a ton of exclusive fly time videos just like this one there. Super good deal up right now. You can sign up for the year and get 15% off the membership. It helps support this YouTube channel and helps get you awesome content on the side. Go check it out. Link is in the description. So one of the key features of this fly, obviously, is the arm that's coming out the back of it. We all know the Merkin fly, we've tied it for years, and it's a great permit fly. This fly solves some problems that we have with that one though. And the idea behind this is that we could tie a lightweight crab fly that's going to turn over and, and essentially be sinking and hitting the bottom with the hook point up. And that's what the arm does mainly. It's a great attention getter for the fish, I'm sure. But the main part of this is that the way this is tied along the hook shank, that arm is gonna work like sort of a balance point or a flotation device, you could say. And it's gonna turn the hook over and it's gonna keep it sitting right on the bottom. Now this means we could skimp and we don't need to put really heavy eyes on it unless we need to, to get down very, very quickly in deeper water. But here we could skimp on the eyes and still have that fly turn over. Now I'm gonna tie this on a number two SL12, which is a great little hook um, for these types of scenarios, for crab flies in general. And this arm on the back should turn this over. We're gonna tie it using large bead chain eyes just because I like the way it looks, but you could probably do medium on this and still have this fly turn over because that arm is there kind of dragging in the water and the buoyancy of it. So. It's very well thought out. The other thing we want to do, we don't want to tie our EP fiber body on, I guess, what would be the top of the hook shank. Here we're going to do it on the inside, and that too is going to help this fly turn over. So those are two main things that we can't mess up on if we want this fly to perform the way it was intended to be fished. So keep that in mind when you're whipping these up. Now from what I've heard, the dude Dave down in the Keys who came up with this, um, it took him a little while to, to kind of get it working right, but from what I know it's caught a ton of fish and I'm sure it would do just fine on reds. Uh, I really can't wait to try this out. Black drum, redfish, bonefish, you know, who knows, golden trevally if I ever can find one here in Costa Rica. Um, 
this pattern solves the issues we have a lot of times with crab flies, you know, or trigger fish even. Here, I'm fishing trigger fish on this gnarly coral, and the second that fly gets in there, it wants to stick. And if that hook point is turned over, you're done. And the fish is gonna try and be picking it off the rock and it's stuck on there. So um, this is just something I'm really gonna play with. I think a lot of people have had success with it. And hopefully you liked the video. Uh, go smash the subscribe button to this. Subscribe, Instagram, Facebook, the whole deal. Go get it done. And if you haven't checked the Patreon page out, hit up Patreon as well. Thank you guys so much. Catch you all later.